Topic number two is ask the expert. We like this one because we need help and advice sometimes. Definitely. And now that the COVID vaccine has been approved for children ages five through 11 and recommended by the CDC, we thought that we would enlist the help of board certified pediatrician, Dr. Rosanna Lastra of Head to Toe Pediatrics uh, to answer some questions and concerns that we have. So our first question today for Dr. Lastra is, what is the most common concern that you're hearing from the parents of your patients and how do you address it? Parents have been asking me about Pfizer being an mRNA vaccine and concerns about this being new technology. And yes, both Pfizer and Moderna are the first mRNA vaccines to be used globally, but this does not mean that the technology is new. And mRNA technology has actually been studied for quite a while now, including in vaccinations for other viruses, and we clinically use it currently for other treatment modalities. All right, thank you, doctor. You have a question, Joanna? Yes, I do. So, um, you know, I was just wondering, like, how do the COVID vaccine side effects in young children ages, let's say five to 10, differ compared to, to adults? That's a good know? one. Yeah. Dr. Lastra? Safety data in the clinical trials for children five to 11 years of age showed a similar side effect profile from what we've been seeing in adults. That includes pain at the injection side, headaches, body aches, muscle aches, as well as fatigue and swollen lymph nodes. A big concern was myocarditis, which is inflammation around the lining of the heart. And this was not noticed in any participants in the clinical trial. So there was one note that Dr. Lastra asked me to add to that. Even though myocarditis was not a side effect that was noticed in any clinical trial, she says, and the CDC has acknowledged this, that it has resulted after some people have been vaccinated. So there is a risk of that, but she says it is very rare. Mm -hmm. Janine, what's your question? Okay, sure. So my question is, should kids actually be, get, be getting the vaccination during their annual in, immunizations? And my follow-up question to that would be, should kids be getting a, a booster shot as well? Mm -hmm. Kids can get the COVID-19 vaccine at the same time as other childhood vaccinations, including the flu shot. With regards to boosters, it may be recommended, but there's no official recommendations on a booster right now. All right, and Natasha. My question was, would you recommend this vaccine for a child who's already had COVID? I do recommend that children who have been sick with COVID-19 get the vaccine because evidence shows that immunity from being fully vaccinated is better than from natural infection. Now, if the child is currently sick with COVID-19, they should delay vaccine until they have fully recovered. Or if a child has had MISC, which is multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, they should talk to their pediatrician about when it would be appropriate for them to receive the vaccine. All right, we thank Dr. Rosanna Lastra. Obviously, we just scratched the surface, but she recommends, and of course, we would like to echo, if you have questions about the vaccine, who better than your pediatrician, mm -hmm. the person yes, that you entrust absolutely. with your child's yeah. health, to ask and get all the information from a trusted source. All right, ladies.